Greetings, it is I, Erin, and welcome back to my channel. Look, we have a guest star today. It's a goober. Look at her belly. She's so silly. She's a silly dog. She loves this. She's so weird. She just wants to be held like a baby. I love her so much. We found her last 4th of July, and I fell in love with her instantaneously. And now she's my baby girl. Mm, yes, she is. She's a dame to goober. She's part chihuahua, part Boston terrier. Um, and part something else that we don't know about. She's probably around a year old now. And she got little floppy ears. She's got silly tongue. She's got super goobery eyes. Oh, uh, uh, she went right in my mouth. Anyway, so that's goober in case I mentioned her barking at some point. That's who it is. That's a goober. Okay, so uh, yeah, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to film a unboxing swatch video. I'm also I went a little crazy, so I went really crazy. <laughs> uh, so I watched a few like one brand tutorials yesterday and I got super inspired to do one. So I'm going to put up a tutorial also, maybe today, this weekend at some point. I'll let you guys know. Um, but in any case, oh, I have to look over here. That's weird. Okay. I'm like, why am I looking to the side? But it's because the camera's this way. All right. Anyway, whatever. Ignore that tirade. So yeah. So I decided I wanted to do one. I was like, which is the most affordable that I could do that I have some products for already? And I chose NYX as I love NYX. And today we are drinking the Deschutes. Is that how you pronounce that? Inversion IPA India Pale Ale. Oh, it's amazing. If you love hoppy beers, get this. It was on sale at Sprouts for $7.99, which is super cheap in Texas. It's hard to find cheap craft beers here. So that's the drink of the day. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I got an eyeshadow palette. This is the Dreamcatcher palette. And I just thought it was going to be perfect for the look I want to do. Because the look I want to do is inspired by my new septum ring, which is purple and silver and purple and purple. So I thought I would do a purple and silver look for you guys. And let's open it up. They're kind of like domed, which is cool. The thing I don't like is they're not named. I really like it if palettes have names, so it's kind of sad. But let's just swatch a few. I'm just going to go uh, from this light color here over black and then over. So, okay. Let's start with this, like, warm nude tone. Okay, first of all, on the finger. Very buttery. I love it. Let's see. On the hand. Yeah. Okay. Not terrible pigmentation. Very light. But very, like buttery feeling so I'm thinking you can probably build it up um, on the lid so all right let's go into this darker brown oh I guess it's a gray <laughs> it looks like a dark brown in the pan but I guess it's not okay and that's that okay I'm kind of surprised that the lack of color payoff because like mixed blushes for instance that I have are super bright but that's okay we'll keep going to this silver oh that looks really pretty on the finger okay let's see Oh, crumbly life. Okay. Okay. These are kind of disappointing. Let's do, let's skip ahead to the purple, because that's really the color I bought it for, so. Oh, look how crumbly it is. Which is weird. I mean, I guess we'll see how it looks on the lid. Um, one last swatch. Let's do uh, this white color. Looks a finger, pretty on the finger, and then so crumble-tastic on the hand. Actually, that's pretty white. Look at that. It's still pretty chalky, but um, yeah. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. My initial thoughts are not super excited about that, so that's depressing. I guess the first ingredient in these is talc. Is that normal? Maybe that's why it's so chalky. Oh! Okay. Um, beer break. Let's see what's the next thing. Oh, I got some cool, like, samples today also. This is the, uh, what is this called? Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. Empower, replenish, renew, and fortify skin mimetic technology. Powered by Long Life Herb California Poppy and Lempu Yang Ginger Extracts. Cool. Okay, um, and it says to do this, after cleansing, apply two pumps over entire face and neck, use morning and night. Cool, so I guess I'll try this and see how it goes. Let's see what it looks like. Almost like a little, a little pump. Infusion Revisilante. I don't know how to say that. A lot of the ingredients are in French. Okay, so that's that. Cool little sample. I love the examples. All right, what's next? Okay, Tinted Brow Mascara from NYX. This is in the color black. 
because as you guys know, I love a super dark brow because I am dark. My soul is dark. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me a lot. Um, so this packaging is very misleading, first of all. Look at this. Why is this box so big? It makes me mad. It wasn't super expensive, but still like a little extra packaging. Okay, so this is what it look for. Like. Nyx mascara and black. It doesn't say anything else useful, I guess. Okay, let's open it up and look at the little wand. Oh, this is like way bigger than my uh than my benefit gimme brow. That's a huge wand. Okay, I guess I'll do it like right here just to see the color, which it's almost non-existent on me. Okay, uh, again, we're gonna have to check that out on the face. This is so far kind of disappointing. So, let's see what else I got. Oh, I got some more uh, Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I use these every day to take off my makeup, so fantastic. I got this Murat sample also. It's the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer Environmental Shield. Can I use it? It has ginger, rapeseed, barley, cucumber, sunflower, anything else like that. I always have to look at what fruits and stuff they use because I'm allergic to so many things, but this one looks like I could actually give it a try. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. Okay, now this was um, recommended to me by Fatalia on YouTube. She does a lot of like first impression videos and Foundation Friday every Friday. She's amazing. If I can figure out how to link her below, I will. Otherwise, I'll just write her name there and you can Google it. Whatever. So this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in Lavender. And she said she has very light skin like me. And so she said the lightest color was too dark, but that this blended in to be a really light highlighting shade. So hopefully that'll work. Um, so it's got like a little doe foot applicator. And we'll just throw that right here. So, all right. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Okay, cool. And it's really smooth and cool feeling. All right, so that's nifty. Let's see how it blends like with the finger. Oh, that blends like amazingly good. All right, so I'm happy with this, yay. The first win, hopefully, it worked on the finger, so we'll see if it works on the face, who knows. What else did I get? Okay, so I got some NYX XXL Lush Lashes Mascara. Uh, mascara, and I love mascara. I have used their I want to say I've used their doll eye mascara before, so I know it doesn't irritate my eyes, which is a plus. Um, but it wasn't my favorite, so I tried a different one. This one's brush in the picture looked a lot like my Marc Jacobs brush, so that's why I chose it. Um, oh wow, it's nothing like what I thought it was. Okay, all right, so it's got like very plasticky bristles, but also has a round tip, which is good because you guys have guys, I have issues getting to my outer corner lashes. It smells a little chemically, but it's not like super crazy. So I think this should be good. We'll give that a try. What else? Oh, I got so much stuff. It's crazy. Okay. NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It. Um, I got this matte finishing powder in light to medium. I was going to get their just translucent one, but it's literally just 100% silica. And I already have <laughs> two different setting powders that are just silica. So I'm like, what could the difference be? Let me try something new that I have not tried. How do you open it? The sticker is like on both sides. So how's it going? How's the night? Uh, I don't know how to open it. Let's see. Um, you use a pen. Cool. Oh, that's very effective. Okay. Nice. Okay. So it opens up. It looks like this. It's got this little uh, thing on it that I don't know how to remove. How do you remove it? Nix, this is too complicated. Oh, I see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm failing at life. That's okay. All right. And I've only had one fear, guys. So I'm a little great. Right. Um, I can't open this. It's really good. Oh, I did it. <laughs> All right. I did it. So that's what it looks like. And let's see how this powder looks. It's like a little yellowy, which is worryful. But, um, I can't tell if it actually made, let's try it on the other hand where there's no swatches really. Okay. 
maybe a little bit yellow right there, but it looks actually pretty close to my skin tone, so all right. And it feels nice and soft. Uh, maybe barely gritty, but not bad at all. And what else I get? Okay, this. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I was like, I need to get setting spray. And I will get my half off, so I had to pick something else out. And I was like, I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow as a highlighter. <laughs> And then I saw this illuminating stick in lavender, which if you know who I am, and you know that I love purple and I love shiny things. So look at the thing. What's it called? NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Lavender Lust. And uh, let's just do this. Can you see it? Oh, you can see it. Look how sickening! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just going to put it all over my body, guys. You don't even know! So that's going to be great. Um, so like I said, I got a setting spray. I got the dewy finish, um, long lasting setting spray, water, alcohol, propylene glycol, PVP, something, something, something. There's only like four ingredients. So I was pretty happy with that because like a lot of makeup has like so many ingredients, it's hard to read the ingredient list. So I was excited that I only had four. Obviously alcohol, most setting sprays have alcohol in them. So, okay, so I got three more products and then we're done with the unboxing swatching. So let's see, what I want to go into first is the Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation, Oil-Free Water-Based Full Coverage Mineral Enriched Matte Finish. Now from this bottle, I'm really scared of this tone, but it was literally the lightest one. Um, now I have tried the NYX HD Foundation and it was so low coverage, I could not. I was really mad about it, so um, I, that's the lightest, I think, foundation that they have, other than the Total Control Drop Foundation, which I have just heard so many bad things about, I'm not even going to spend my money on it. There's no point on it, as far as I'm concerned, until some of my YouTube makeup guru people that I love. Oh, my cat! Let's look at it. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Let me just drop everything and show you my dirty kitchen. Hello, Heimdall! Hello, Heimdall! Hi, baby boy! Hey there! Okay, that's my cat. Uh, sorry, I like dropped everything to show you him. He's super cute. I've had him the longest. I've had him since I lived in New York, which was like five years ago now. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so much like trash all over this place now from opening these things. Okay. okay, so yeah, so this is it in ivory. Yeah, SMF01 ivory matte foundation. Um, and it has a very long ingredient list, just like I was talking about. So let's open this up and see. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. So it's just got like a little, oh, it's super yellow. Okay, we're gonna go where? On my arm, okay. Oh, it's super yellow. But it is actually light. Okay, so let me just take a little bit like right here on the cheek. I don't know about the coverage from that little tiny bit, but it's actually, I think it might actually work. Okay, I think I can make it work. I'll just wipe that off with my hand, why not? Um, so I think I can make this work. Let's see what it smells like. It smells like faintly of paint. <laughs> but not too bad, so that's fine. Okay, two more products and then we're done, I promise. Unless I'm boring you, in which case you shouldn't even be watching it. Why you waste your time? But I'm enjoying myself. Angel Veil, NYX Primer, Skin Perfecting Primer, Oil Free. Let's see. Treat your skin to this ultra velvety oil-free primer. Feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. Okay. So this is what a lot of my YouTubers that I watch use. So I figured I would give it a try. Let's see. Oh, it's like super. Is it supposed to be that watery? Look. Okay. I don't know. Oh, but it feels good. Okay. I have to shake it. Like these squeeze tubes. Like, do you shake a squeeze tube? I don't know. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's see if it's still... Nope, it's not that watery. Okay, you're like freaking me out. It still feels really good. Like not nearly as silicone-y as the pore filling primer from NYX, which I don't like, as you guys know, if you watch my videos. Um, but it feels, ooh, it's kind of like a powdery. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. Okay, let's see what it smells like. Not much. It's got some chemical-y smell to it, but it's not like terrible. Okay, last but not least, I got this little Cheek Contour Duo Palette. Um, I already have blush from NYX, which you guys know because I use it for all my Valentine's Day tutorials because it's all pink. <laughs> so I figured if I wanted to blush, I could use that, but I could just use a light hand if I don't want it to be like super hot pink. This pen is super sharp. This is a Energel liquid gel from Pentel, and it could kill a person. It could cut a bitch. It could cut a bitch. 
except for this tape is like made out of adamantium. Okay. Whew. Oh gosh. I'm trying. Okay. The sticky stuff is still on there, so I don't know if it'll open, but all right. Let's see if it says anything exciting. This is called Double Date. That's the color, I guess. Cheek Contour Duo. Uh, it doesn't tell me any claims, so okay. Nice. Let me open it up. I actually kind of like this. I mean, it's plastic, obviously, but look, it's got specks. <laughs> um, so it's called oh, this banana shade, which I figured I could try as a highlight, even though I don't usually use a banana shade, but it's not terrible. And then this is a really cool tone, light brown, which is exciting because it's hard to find. So let's clean the fingers off. <laughs> I'm so professional. Um, and then we're going to swatch like up here, I guess. Why not? So banana shade first. Okay. All right. Okay. It's illuminating. I can dig it. Okay, I'm going to show you Tabby in just a second. My other dog, one of my three dogs. And then this is the darker shade. Oh, holy pigment. Okay, so that's much more exciting. And that's going to be a great contour shade. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to meet Tabby? <laughs> that's all I got from my NYX. Um... Hold on. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Hello, Tabaloo. Hi there. Are you cute? Oh, gosh, it's a goober. What's on the floor? What did they get? I don't know what they got. So this is my house. I guess I could do like a show you my house at some point, but let me know if you want to see that. But yes, this is the dogs. That's Tabby. She's a Karen Terrier and she's evil. Let's see if we can see Chewy. You want to guys want to see Chewy before I'm done? Before the video is over? Okay, let's go outside. So we're going to go outside. You can see my beautiful skin without any which is still beautiful. I have pretty great skin. So let's see. Can I show you the dogs? Can you see them? Let's see. There's that. Can you see them? I can't tell because, like, say hi, Goober. That's a Chusta Busta. His name is Chewbacca. Ignore if you can see the poop. I don't know what you can see because I'm not looking. That's Tabby. That's a Goober. That's a Pola. That's a Chusta Busta. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more things like this, unboxing videos, I've got makeup all the time. I can do them. And stay tuned for a one, one brand tutorial later. I'm going to probably film it today, but I don't know if it'll go up today. But thank you for watching. And mwah. bye, guys.